Today is the first day of jury selection in the invasion of privacy case against Governor Eric Reitens. The people chosen will ultimately decide if he committed anything criminal in his 2015 affair. That decision could carry hefty consequences, which means the selection process won't be taken very lightly. Abigail James is joining us live with what both sides are going to be looking for this morning. Abby. We'll remember this case. testimony. Some jurors may not like that, which is great for Governor Greitens, but it continues to be an uphill battle for the prosecution. Here's what the prosecution will focus on for jury selection. The verdict for the invasion of privacy case may come down to technical working of the iPhone, the definition of transmission, and of course, the whereabouts of a photo that may or may not exist. Under Missouri law, transmitting a photo involving nudity without the person's consent is a felony. A forensics examiner has been looking at Greitens' cell phone. Prosecutors say the process of taking a cell phone picture directly moves it to the phone's computer, constituting transmission. Greitens' attorneys ridicule that idea. According to the att attorney David Langston, this is what the prosecution wants in a jury. He's going to try and find people who are going to think this is wrong because of not necessarily all of the evidence, but because it's just wrong. It's just wrong for a sitting governor to be dragging the state through this. Now, if Governor Greitens is convicted, he could spend up to four years in prison. Live in the newsroom, Abigail James, KCTV5 News. The governor has a busy month of court dates ahead as well. That trial begins Monday. On the 18th, lawmakers meet for a special session to discuss impeachment. Greitens also has a hearing on the 22nd to face accusations that he used his charity's donor list for campaign donations. The legal teams aren't the only ones preparing for Monday's trial. Coming up at 645, we are live in St. Louis this morning with how police there are keeping everybody safe in the courtroom. We have you covered with everything you need to know about the trial as well. Right here on KCTV5, our own Caroline Sweeney will be in St. Louis beginning today. And you can find the very latest online at KCTV5.com and on our mobile app. You can catch all of our reporting we've done on this story since it broke in January.